Hello and welcome. I'm Decipher, and today we're on my 31 Shaman Zethin. Zethin the Fat. Alright, so what are we doing today? Oh, it's early in the morning uh, in the U.S., 3 a.m. Central Time. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I've already done a camp check. And I am doing the treants in South Karana. Pretty much all I do is I malaise them in Venom Breath, Affliction, Root, Run, sit down, wait for their, wait for Venom to wear off, then I hop up, recast it, come back, sit down. Um, the only time things get a little sketchy is when they root me, but I normally use uh, Endure Magic and Endure Fire. to help me out a little bit there, see how he's coming for me. Cannot stay next to this guy. As soon as he gets below 40% 40, 40 HP, he'll start healing himself. But for some reason, if he's rooted, and I'm not in range of him, he won't heal. I don't understand how that works, but I like it. <laughs> um, one time I did, the first time I fought him, I didn't know that, and uh, I don't know, the fight took like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and I actually ended up having to run, because he just kept healing himself, and healing himself, and healing himself, but I couldn't kill him at all, that's a little loud, let me turn that down, <clears throat> But, yeah, okay, so we've got to get our Endure Magic, our Endure Fire back up. I wouldn't suggest doing this on good characters, especially Druids, because if I'm correct, it lowers your faction with the Druids at the Druid Rings. Um, but evil characters, if you're not worried about your faction... It's a pretty dang good camp. Um, the money is the main point, or the the main drawing point. Uh, that one mob right there dropped me 7.9 plat, 79 gold. And then the, there's a, a merchant not too far away that I just bind at. Um, gate to him whenever I start getting too overweight. And I exchange basically exchange my money I buy it's some sort it's it's worth four plat and then I uh, sell it back to him for I think it's, I think it's 3.9 plat um, and the reason I have such a low uh, return rate is my charisma is only at 42 <laughs> so but yeah this is pretty much all I'm doing today um, so like I said, it's so early in the morning that nobody has this camp. Normally, this thing is camped all day long. And I just malaise him. I run to the back of this hill, so he has to run to me, turn my melee on. And I only melee whenever I'm casting my initial spells.
get him. I got him. Like I said, the longer you stay in range of them, the more they cast. I just went and bought Quickness the other day. I completely forgot to buy it the other day. So now that he's uh, now that he's below 20% HP, all I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and wait for Root to uh, wear down so I don't waste any more mana. Um, normally I'd hop back up there and recast in Venom Breath, but I'm going to wait for Root to wear off. He'll run off. He'll start walking around, do that little runaway thing. And I'm just going to run up there and melee him to death. Because now he won't cast it. His uh, heal he won't cast. Now, yeah, see, that one's 4.1 plat. And if I'm right, they're on like a. 4 minute? No, I think they're on a. F 5 to 6 minute uh, respawn timer. I can't. I haven't really actually done the math on it, so I don't. I don't remember. But it doesn't matter. I sit here. This is all I've been doing with my shaman since he hit. I don't know, thirty. Well, th th actually, that's a lie. See how quickly they respawn. Um, that's actually a lie. I went into split paw with a group a couple of times, and uh, got over got over that level thirty hell level. Yeah, I thought I was going to be in that thing forever. Because these guys kept killing me uh, every once in a while. But the money is so good, I couldn't I couldn't help it. But I've also started a uh, an enchanter. I think she's level 6 now. Yeah, level 6. So some of you might be wondering why I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I think it's been like two weeks. Um, for the first week, I was... Uh, I was running a load. Um, as some of you know, I'm a truck driver. And when I talk about loads, it's what I'm carrying on the back of my trailer. Um, I was doing a load for uh, Bell Helicopters, and I wasn't really allowed to talk about it, so I just didn't make the video, because I wanted to talk about it. And they were doing a convention. And now that we're done with the convention, I guess I can talk about it a little bit, but... Yeah, I was transporting uh, helico uh, helicopter parts. Spelled me. Creeping. All right. Well, that's not cool. We really got to turn that down. It's way too much. Um. Anyway, yeah. Um. I actually ran with the crew from my from the people I work with, um, we call it a convoy. There was like five or six of us that ran together. We ran from uh, Fort Worth, Texas to Nashville, Tennessee, and each of us had different parts of helicopters. Um, breath wore off. Okay. Um, I don't have any photos or videos of the one I was carrying, helping to carry. But, oh no, root bore off. That's not good. Yep, see, there he went. He healed himself. He was at 18%. Um, but after this fight. Oh, crap. But after this fight, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and I'm going to insert a couple videos of a couple of helicopters that took off um, as we were getting ready to leave the convention.
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, short clips, and we will see you on the other side. So yeah, that's what I did for a week. Um, that convention lasted a whole week, so we had to stay there, um, take parts back to Fort Worth after it was done. Um, and then, as I was saying, I was I didn't make a video for two weeks, then I went home for a week. Um, when I've gone for that long, I get a lot of wife aggro while I'm while I'm there, obviously. <laughs> Um, but also we had a tile guy, um, we were getting our bathroom shower retiled. My, uh, I get a phone call from my wife one day when I'm out over the road saying that um, she was trying to clean the shower floor. Um, apparently there was some stain on the floor and she wanted to clean it. Great, all well and good until she told me she was using a screwdriver on the damn grout. I flipped out on her a little bit and asked her, What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. And she's like, What? I'm cleaning it. I'm like, No, now we have to get the entire bathroom redone. How far down did you go with that grout? She goes, I don't know. So I got home and took a look at it, and she had gone pretty far. I'm not a, um, I'm not a tile guy. Crap. I hate when they break root. I'm not a tile guy, so all I did was take some caulking and fill in the grout line, and that lasted... <coughs> I don't know, that lasted maybe three weeks or so. Yeah. And it wasn't just like she had done it between one tile, maybe off to the side a little bit where I could just pump it full of caulking. Oh, no, 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 no. She had done several, several lines of grout. She had almost worn my flathead screwdriver down to a nub. There was no flathead. It was just rounded off. Look at that one, 106 gold, that's 10.6 plat, that's nice. So yeah, three, uh, I think it's $3,000 later um, and two weeks of the tile guy being at the house. Um, I think she said he's supposed to be done tomorrow, today is today. I think today is the 11th, yeah. Today, today's May 11th. He's uh, he's supposed to be done today. I'm supposed to be home tomorrow, so hopefully, the next day I can use the shower in our main, in uh, I can use the master bathroom. Um, luckily, we have two bathrooms, so yeah. But I'm gonna try and start making more videos, and we'll see how that goes. I'm really liking my shaman. But as per usual, once I get a character up into the 30s, I typically start a new character. Don't ask me why. My wife asked me that uh, one day while I was sitting there playing at the house. Um, and I just said, I don't know. I just start seeing, their, seeing the character, the flaws in the character, or the flaws in my gameplay. Whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> um... Oh man, there was something I was going to say. I just brain farted. Alright, we're going to pause the video. Hopefully I can come back to it. Oh, okay. I remember what I was going to say now. Um, so, while I was at home, um, not only did I have the wife aggro, I had the tile guy there. He was coming back and forth, walking through the living room. He's got paper laid down. Basically a paper trail. Um... It's about, I don't know, four feet wide, and it goes all the way from my front door all the way into my master bathroom, um, through my bedroom, all that stuff. Um, that way he doesn't leave stuff laying all over the floor. It's all on his paper. Um, and he's got um, his tile saw right outside my front door. So 
and that's sitting right the my front door is right near my living room so anytime he's using that saw you can hear it in the living room really well or bad depending on what you're trying to do like if I'm trying to make a video you know obviously that's bad um, So I, I could I was at home for that whole week and I couldn't make a video because of those two factors I guess you could say. <laughs> um, but now I'm back in the truck um, by myself um, and I should be here for another day or so. I'm gonna try and make a video today and tomorrow and once again try that uploading um, to YouTube on different days so we'll see how that goes but this is all I plan on doing I plan on being on for another hour or so um, but I don't think you guys want to see me sit here and kill treants the whole time because that's really all I'm doing it's too early there's not enough people on I think there was like 430 people on at this time so there won't be any groups or anything, and I'm making too good of money to give up this camp. Um, since I started this video, I've already made 900, <coughs> excuse me, um, 940 gold. So I've made 94 plats since I started this video, and I think I've only killed one mob off camera. So, yeah, that's how good the money is for this camp. But I'm sure everybody watching this already knows that. I'm just a noob to the game. So, we'll go ahead and end the video here. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching.